Hello everyone, welcome to Livery Ball. Ladies and gentlemen, I have a draggy setup where we're going to see how fast the Jaguar i is 0 to 100. Uh, I'm quite curious, Jaguar claims 4.8 seconds 0 to 100. I think we can get a little bit close. So let's see what's what. Right, sport mode over here, dynamic mode there, trash to control off. The weather is a bit wet. So, yep, there we go. Track DSC. Come on, give me traction. There we go. And no 200. Here we go. Very quiet in the score. <laughs> okay, let's see what the score did. So, half mile, quarter mile, 12.6 seconds, and it did 0 to 100 in 4.69 seconds. So, we point one second faster than what the manufacturer claims. Very impressive stuff here. Okay, so I'm going to show you guys how the Jaguar i charges on this fast charger here in Cape Town. Um, very easy, you simply open up the cap here, remove this point over here of the... I know you guys can't see much, but I'll try and work the lighting as best I can. You take the big fast charging point, which is this one here. You don't tap the card yet, right? So you first insert the cable. You hear the click to say DC charge. And then tap the card here. And then it starts charging. So, there is 197 kilometers left on the range. Currently, we are on 58% charge. So, on the fast charger to full, it's going to take. So, this is why it's so important. There we go. So, it's charging. An hour and 31 minutes to full from 58%. That's really impressive. And we still have 193 kilometers left. But the full charge, we're looking at over 360 kilometers of range. So yeah, let's go get something to eat. <laughs> now that I've shown you guys how the charging system works of Jaguar's iPace, um, and actually a Jaguar charging station, which is quite cool. Um, so that means that it is completely integrated with the car. I can now talk to you guys about the interior of the Jaguar iPace. After that, I'll take you guys around the car and we'll talk about the exterior. So let's start off with the seating position very comfortable I'm sat nice and high the steering wheel I've got adjusted just right for me and that's really comfy the buttons on the steering wheel is not very ergonomically set up like the touch surfaces are tricky to use but I'll walk you through it on the right hand side of the steering wheel, we've got lane keeping assist heated steering wheel we've got cruise control and a speed limiter the cruise control is quite nice on this car it is adaptive cruise so if i push the start button here i can then set how far i want the car to follow the car in front of me i can also select the speed that i want however i'm going to cancel that now on the left hand side of my steering wheel controls the digital cluster in front of me and also the volume of the meridian sound system onto the meridian sound system it's uh, i'll say it's like a c tier it's okay not that impressive i wish meridian can do better you know they've got such a rich heritage i think they can perform better here i prefer the x3's harman kardon sound system and uh, bmw's harman kardon in general to the meridian in this jaguar ipace Onto that, we move to the center console here of the Jaguar I-Pace. Electric cars don't really have to focus too much on the internal combustion engine and fuel tanks and all that kind of things. So I'd love a bit more attention to the center stack, which we'll now move on to. This thing completely locked up on my cameraman and I earlier on, which I think is a bit unacceptable in a 2 million rand car. So I hope there's software updates in the future that sort this out. Onto the functionality, of the touchscreen and the climate control vents very easy android auto apple carplay everything is nice and easy to touch and move around i can use it on the go i love the fact that the climate control ladies and gentlemen are physical knobs i can turn them to change temperature push on the button for cooled and heated seats all very 
ergonomically set up. You've got wireless charging, which is very awkwardly like set up in this T type of system here. My phone, I don't know, I find this whole system where you put your phone in your wallet in very awkward. I'm probably showing you guys B-roll of that now. Below that you have a place here for your keys maybe or coins, two cup holders, a center console with USB-C charging and a couple of other odds and ends here on the center. To the back seats of the car, I'm about five foot eight. My cameraman is just under six foot and we've both got very good space behind us. Quite comfy for the family as well. Good enough leg room. Seats are nice and comfy. Isofix points are easy to get to. And the bootlet also, or the boot space, very big. Unfortunately, this car has a spare wheel. So it does eat up into the boot space of the car. I wish that it had a purpose space for the spare wheel. Design on Jaguar's i pace more specifically, the exterior. Something I really like about this i pace you see this general normal Jaguar grill, but look here on top, this is a full vent, which vents air through these holes here, and it flows over the car to streamline the air. The front of this car, really, really aggressive. I love the way this thing looks in front. I'll open up the front for you. That's what they call it. Not that big. I expected a big Tesla size slash Porsche 911 front, but not at all. Quite small, just for your charging cables. And now you can see that air duct, which is pulling air through here and over the bonnet around the car. The side profile of the iPace is, I think, what really hits you. It, it looks really aggressive and I'm not a fan of these like coupe style SUVs but it really works here. Check out these door handles. So they pop out. Now obviously during the day when you drive a electric car if you have normal door handles the wind cutting over it will make a noise. So Jaguars motorize them and when you unlock the car it pops out like that and pretty easy to use. This car is dirty, it's been raining today as you can probably see in the video. Jaguar and HSE badging over there. Huge 245, 50, you see, 50, 20 inch wheels right around. And that really helps also with this car's immense traction out of the line. And on the rear end of the car, this is the design we're talking about now. I'm actually quite a fan of it here. This wrap just makes it much louder. And you've actually got a proper little air diffuser there at the bottom or a rear diffuser. EV400 all drive badging and a Found bouncing cat, which is the typical Jaguar symbol and or, or, or logo and eye place there on that side. And again, electric opening tailgate. I don't think it's easy access here, so if you have a lot of shopping. Nope. Nope. So there isn't the easy access over here. But again, a huge boot compromised by the steep rake of this back window. The suspension in Jaguar's i place as well, beautifully refined, it rides over bumps very smoothly, doesn't rattle at all a lot in this car, v very serene, an wow. electric car. What has it been like driving an electric car over the last few days with ESCOM's load shedding? No problems. Everyone in the comments, everyone over Twitter, oh, I feel sorry for people who's driving electric cars. No, it doesn't make any difference, ladies and gentlemen. You use the car like you use your phone. If, the, if you see it on 50% charge, take it to a charging point, plug it in on charge. If you come home at night, plug it in on charge overnight. I will admit, this car has a 90 kilowatt hour battery, so charging it with, as I've explained in the opening, you know, charging it with a three point plug from your house, it's gonna take about two million years to fully charge the battery. So you won't be here on this planet when this thing's fully charged. It does take very long. But from a fast charger, an hour will take you from like 80% till 100% in say 45, 40 minutes. So fast charger is the way to go. Unfortunately, and this is where the problems come in, 
South Africa's infrastructure for an electric car just is not ready yet for these cars. As you guys saw in the start of this video, I was in Garden Center and I showed you guys how to uh, charge the car and things like that. I had to, I had to be in Cape Town quite a bit this week. And um, charging it there has been quite a treat because I'll charge it, go have a cup of coffee and when I get back it's on a full charge. So it's really benefited me and most of these places like Waterfront and um, BMW Center in Canal, they all have generators. So you're never really stuck without a charger. So no, ESCOM is not a problem. And then there is the ease of an electric car. I'm just going to toddle it here into the normal mode and that... That instant acceleration you just don't get from a petrol car because there's no pistons and turbo in the way to go. So if you see oh, 080, let me just get to 100. 100. It is lightning quick, this thing. And indeed, as the speed goes higher, you lose that amount of performance because it's an electric car. So to conclude, my time with the Jaguar I-Pace has been really amazing. Uh, living with an electric car has been really interesting. My cameraman and I have been truly in heaven um, filming this car because we both haven't experienced an electric car like this. Um, you know, the acceleration is violent. The ease of use is extraordinary. The Jaguar platform is beautiful. I mean, it's a very comfortable car. Everywhere you go with this car, people seem breaking their necks for it. So, yeah, my mind has changed over an electric car and I would buy one in South Africa. We just need better infrastructure. I think we need like all the manufacturers to come together and just put up electric charging points. So, yeah, I am picking up quite a headache today, ladies and gentlemen. It's raining in Cape Town. Um, the car's acceleration is like so hectic to a point where it actually makes you nauseous. So, yeah, hope you guys all enjoyed this video. Uh, be free, be you. Lip Rebel, out. <laughs>